a merry heart. When one hears laughter in the halls of an organization, when good spirits enliven the breaks, when serious discussions are broken up by humor, it's a very good sign the enterprise is healthy. Teams that emphasize fun and good spirits lift effectiveness. One biographer included an entire chapter on humor in the Graham team. The chapter jokes played on each other, and Billy's good-natured acceptance of jokes played on him. Of course, at times, Billy could initiate the good-natured practical jokes as well. Although extremely serious about their mission and the internal stakes, the team knew how to laugh together and play together. Billy could especially laugh at himself even when under the spotlight or on camera when he had blown a line. For instance, he liked to tell the time in a small town when he asked the boy how to get to the post office. After getting directions, Billy invited him to come to the meeting that evening. You can hear me telling everyone how to get to heaven. The boy's response? I don't think I'll be there. You don't even know your way to the post office. The book of Proverbs sums it up. A merry heart does good, like medicine. And Billy said, A keen sense of humor helps us overlook the unbecoming, understand the unconventional, tolerate the unpleasant, overcome the unexpected, and outlast the unbearable.